Hello everyone, welcome back to another video finally. I just really literally just got back from France and I got a special video for you guys uh, because of this event. Uh, so we're going to unbox and have a little overview of a netbook. Um, more specifically the Sony um, SVE1111M1EW. So yeah, let's uh, start with the unboxing. Alright, so this is the box of the netbook. We're gonna have a quick look at it. This is the front, very plain, nothing really much to see here except for just Sony, bio, and uh, the fact that this is a personal computer. Rather a netbook. Uh, on the side we have some specifications that it is and has an AMD processor, I guess, and that it's made in China. On the back we have some caution warnings, you know, that stuff. Um, more warnings. Um, no, what is this? The uh, more specifications like graphics card, etc. And we have a uh, product code and all that stuff. And then that's basically it. So, what we're going to do now, as always, open the box. And I gotta find my knife. Very simple. see how this opens and I think I'm gonna start with taking out the battery which is included then we have the power cable which will go together with the adapter probably so this is the adapter and we have a user guide or manual quick start guide here and then, of course, we'll have the netbook itself, which is in some very good um, protective material. So this is the Sony Vio. Still a lot of... Uh, foam on it to cover it, so that was the back side, this is the front side let's uh, open this up or maybe just oh. there we go the lap, the netbook itself I'm filming alright so we are going to put in this battery and we're gonna boot the laptop for the very first time. So I'm guessing actually I should perhaps take the quick start guide, but I don't think it's really necessary. Yeah, I see it. So we have to put it in like that, push it down, and it's in secure. There are two latches here if you want to take it out. And normally there's power or energy on the battery, so we can open it up now. This is by the way closed with magnets apparently. And we could, or we should be able to power it on. And it sounds like it started. So we got a boot screen, and it's starting Windows. And the Windows version that we have on it, what is it? Do you know it? You can talk, you know. Yeah, you can talk. Oh, you don't want to talk. Alright, um, my cameraman doesn't want to talk, and I don't, can't read his lips. So. I don't know, it's not on the box list. Is it the home premium version? Oh wait, it's home premium, alright. Setup is updating registry settings. Sounds very, 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 very boring. And probably takes a lot of time. So let's perhaps say something about the um, specifications as we're actually just wasting a lot of time right now. Um, so the specifications right here say it has an AMD E2 1800 um, processor from AMD, as I said, I think, uh, with a 1.7 gigahertz. You get an AMD Radeon graphics card, the HD 7340. Um, it's an 11.6 inch uh, monitor with a resolution of uh, 30, uh, 1366 um, times uh, 770, uh, 68, sorry, 
and I get a total memory of 4 gigabytes, and I guess that's uh, DDR3. I'm not really sure, but I think it is. Um, and the uh, <laughs> storage approximately is 500 gigabytes, according to the box. And yeah, the OS is Windows 7 Home Premium, 64 bit. Einige eigene Sprache ist Deutsch, jawohl! No, um, mental. English? English, alright. You cannot change your language later. No, we can't. Next. This is a very good touchpad. Feels very nice. Um, country, Wake Island. Um, how does this work anyway? Belgium. Time and currency. <laughs> okay, apparently another VIO is born. Thank you, Sony. Continue. Thank you for interrupting the Windows boot thingy. IE9 customization. And this is also some stuff that we're going to skip. Who cares about McAfee? Interesting. Alright, so apparently a screen appears. Please help us approve my products. Ah. Oh. Well, we'll approve. We'll, we'll improve the Vi products with a review or an overview. Stop giving all this bullshit. It's taking so much time. All right. Finally, we're in Windows, or at least the uh, desktop is loading. And there seems to be a lot of oh nonsense on the. Uh, but that's always the case. And because of all this nonsense, the owner of the netbook, which is currently my cameraman, or who is currently my cameraman, sorry, um, that's the reason why he's going to install uh, Linux or Linux. Because that's better for netbooks, clearly. Alright, so what we have here is the battery health status, which is excellent, which is, of course, good if in, 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 if it's new. We want details, let's have a look at details. Details look interesting. Something appeared. Aha! It just gives a bigger window. Oh, finally a sound. That was weird. No, we don't want anything about knowing how we use this efficiently. Wireless functions. Um, yeah, we'll have a look at that later. Only we have something here, now I'm going to press it. Uh huh. Welcome. To Viogate. Viogate. Learn how to use Viogate. Click on the R to continue in Viogate. This sounds interesting and very stupid and unnecessary. Too many animations. I'm going to skip all this because it seems stupid. And I think I know what it is. Yes, sure. So this is probably something that just allows you to. You know, it's probably just the same as pressing start and then all programs. A few things perhaps. Um, what we can we find here? Um, this uh, Microsoft Office 2010, apparently. So that's pre installed. And you can ins or activate it if you've already purchased it, but there doesn't seem to be a uh, trial or anything on the laptop. Um, Alright, so we have internet, and then there were well, some, of, some programs apparently. Um, via care, via control center, which sounds interesting. Via data restore tool, um, easy connect, etc., etc., etc. Probably all just for managing the entire netbook. Control center sounds interesting though, so let's have a look at that quickly. All right, so basically we get a uh, control center here for the Vio. Uh, so you can have power management, keyboard, and mouse uh, setup. Um, Network connection, so oh yeah, so you have, you know, can all change the touchpad and all that stuff. Ok, 
can have a look at the network connections, display, security, and special buttons. So that's like, I don't know, buttons on your keyboard probably. Um, and that's basically it. So you have some um, system information as well, and that's it. Um, next to that, let's have a quick look at how good the keyboard is. Alright, so let's type uh, CC reviews. Dot EU is the website that uh, this is a little you absolutely need to to visit. Alright. Let's find home. Where is home? There is no home. Here's home. Oh Windows updates. We don't need them right now. Alright, so and home, I guess. I have to keep pressed, whatever. I'm going to Alright, the, the keyboard seems nice. You get a good response from the uh, buttons. Um, yeah. Good. Alright, so right before we're going to start um, the Windows rating, thought we should have a look at the connectors. Um, so on the side here, I haven't really checked myself, but I uh, well, checked it myself. But we have a audio and microphone connection. So these are the I think 3.5 millimeter jacks from the USB 2 port. Um, that I think this is the one port for us if you have you know the the the. Uh, safety code thing, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, you have uh, SSD, SSD and um, Pro Duo, no, what I'm saying SD, it's SD, sorry, and Pro Duo says here, um, card slot, you have an internet slot, or, you know, Ethernet. On this side you have the connection for the power, you have a VGA um, connection, an AGMI connection, a USB 2 port and a USB 3 port apparently as well. It's very good to see. Um, on the bottom we have the battery of course and here you can access the um, components inside. And then um, here in the front we have the power uh, LED. I think this is the battery LED in case it's going empty, you're not really sure. This is the HDD uh, hard drive sorry, uh, LED and the LED for your wireless connection. And if we open the laptop, and it's just in standby as you can see, I'm going to close this quickly. Do not save, it doesn't really matter much. Uh, we have the power button, uh, we have an assist button, I'm not really sure what it does, I want to press it, can I press it? Will you allow me to press it? What does it do? It's doing something, but I'm not really sure what. Ah. So this is actually a, a button directing to one of the um, programs for VIA. I'm not really going to go deeper into that. You have web. I'll press that. That's probably the internet. Alright, sounds very... Um, close. All tabs. So that's the internet. And then you have a button that says VIO. VIO sounds very interesting. Let's press VIO. VIO button initial setting. Oh, you can choose media gallery or play memories home, whatever that is. Play memories home makes managing, viewing, and editing photos and videos quick and easy. Alright. More information we don't need. Um, and that's basically it, except for the fact that there's also a little webcam right here. And. Um, I'm not really sure. Is there a microphone in this thing? Yeah, there is somewhere a microphone. I don't see it immediately where it might be. Maybe somewhere here. And um, there is sound, so we heard it. There was sound. So, alright. Those are the functions. Alright, so this is the performance that we got from uh, Windows. From, yeah, whatever. It's 3.9, and uh, that's because of the processor, apparently. Um, gives a 3.9 score to the processor, which is the AMD um, processor at 
thought was uh, 1.7 gigahertz, so that's probably the reason also. But for a netbook, that's no problem because actually that's mostly good enough for that. Um, but you get a very good score for memory. It gives a 5.9 for that. Uh, also quite good for graphics, 4.5, not bad at all. Gaming graphics, 5.9. So actually should be able to game on this laptop. Perhaps we should try Battlefield 3. Uh, uh, yeah, a game like that. And then the primary hard disk also gets 5.9, so really not bad overall, just the 3.9 from the processor that keeps it all down. And that's it. So I hope you guys had enough information from this entire unboxing overview experimental video that we made. Um, if you want more information, uh, just ask, and uh, maybe we might make another part for this video, but we're now going to probably put Linux on this and um, or just change the entire thing because this setup sucks. Alright, that was it. See you guys in the next video.